All right, so we're starting uh, starting uh, part two here, and I'm I'm going to record just a little uh, short video here. Can I ask you a question before you go? Yeah, go ahead, please. Mm -hmm. The KF8. Mm -hmm. So I have to say I've been living this nice life, devoid of all of this, and so the KF8. If I Google that, I can find it and learn about it, or I need to find. Yeah, just Google KF8. Mm -hmm. Okay. KF8 file type. Well, just, I mean, KF8, if you Google KF8, it's going to be the first thing that comes up. Does Amazon not provide that structure to be able to yeah. just write straight up on there? Well, they they provide the structure. If you're fast enough to write uh, HTML, mm -hmm. then, um, like, like uh, actually, here's something. I'll show you a, uh, another thing here that's probably uh, worth, worth, recording, really. worth seeing yeah. here. Um, if you look at, and I just changed this, this here uh, recently. Whoops. Oh, she, my machine must be indexing. Yeah, and then why I got so stuck is because I didn't have the tools and technology to take the next step. I didn't know, I thought you could just do it in Word and just, just slap it up there. So, now I know. Well, now that they're all big and badass, they can. Well, they can, I'm glad they are. They got seventy yeah. percent of the market. They can do whatever they want. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> this is a. Uh oh. Let me spill that. Oh, maybe the internet connection. Yeah, you got the FI and ah. the FA. And my, I think my machine is indexing right now. I should have. Um, You're in a soccer mindset. You got that FIFA in there. Stop it. I think um, you know when the disk indexes for all the content, it just sucks all the bandwidth out of machines. And on all my other machines except this one, I've got that turned off during the day. So what happens is like 8 p.m. at night, it turns the thing on because there's no way to schedule it. What's it doing? A backup? No, it's indexing. actually indexing all the How content. So when you do a search on a Mac, it actually looks, it knows where everything is based on previous. How do you turn off the indexing? Uh, you mean on Max? Mm -hmm. um, talk with me on Skype and I'll show you how to do that. Thanks, because uh, my big map is doing all that indexing and it's driving me bonkers. Yeah, so um, anyway, I think that's why it's Is that where you get the pie wheel of death sometimes when it's indexing? It's like, come on, get out of there. Yeah, I mean, and you can click your little uh, spotlight thing up here. Um, well, I'm unsure why this is just taking so long. Uh, anyway, uh, one of the things that I think probably uh, everyone served to do is uh, register your name as a domain. If you haven't yet, have you I registered have, your name? I haven't re registered my name. <gasps> yeah. I had to use my middle initial though. And I haven't registered my pen name. That's a new phone number. Because like my pen name is real juicy. I even have a yeah, so do your pin name too. What's your, What's pin, your pin name? name? It's called Sakara Minx. Ooh. I'll do that. Do it. Yeah, that sounds so sexy. That's so interesting. Yeah. A friend of mine just changed her name, but she went on tour in Egypt and got a new spiritual name. That Didn't wasn't was my Sakara. spirit. It was actually supposed to be Shaka. <laughs> but Sakara came out much like. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, Sakara, it was my yeah. first pyramid to visit too. So. Anyway, what I did with my, my website that's just my name is I just turned it into a list of projects because I'm working on so many things. And so um, what you might do with your um, domain just that your for your name is use it as a project index. And I'll use this eventually instead of just having my one Kindle book up here, I'll have like, you know, all the Kindle books tiled or something. Is that WordPress? No, I just wrote this. I, I sat down, um, Arai, the guy that was here a minute ago, wandering through, is staying here uh, from Brazil, and, and he was um, he was asking me if I'd like to be inducted into this uh, great old fraternal order, and to be inducted, to be uh, considered as a brother in the old fraternal order, um, he said, you got a list of stuff you're working on so I can, you know, tell people and so I wrote this up yesterday so this is so I, I wrote this site I don't know maybe about half an hour an hour you created that whole site yeah so nice. you can't you just can't do that in WordPress 
Mm. I mean, it just takes a little bit longer to get everything working. Plus, this thing serves at blazing fast speed. Well, what what are you using? I sat down with uh, I sat down with an editor. You got your Dreamweaver or just a text file? No, I, I, he's all a by hand. He's a programmer. He <laughs> can't do this. Yeah, yeah. So I went into the the index.html file file and I just opened a blank file and started typing. Wow. And just hacked it out. That's why some of us use WordPress. Yeah, once once your brain gets in a mode where you're doing it though, and this is what I primarily would like to show you right here. This is the actual um, this is the actual text that generates my beautiful business book. And so you look here, so there's the title, equal beautiful business, mm -hmm. and then there's a, a bar and a, and a bar, mm -hmm. and I use some other back end software to break that bar into titles and subtitles. So that turns into mm -hmm. a, you know, open header tag and then H1 tag for the main title and living while doing what you love is an H2 tag and by David Favor is an H2 tag and then close header tag. So I don't have to worry about that. And I also have, I have no idea what the font is. I've got to go back and figure out, I've been looking for, maybe Clint, maybe you know, do you know where a list of the valid fonts, like a matrix of fonts for different Kindle devices is? I freaking look high and low for that. I haven't seen that, no. Anyway, if you if you come across that, drop it in our Skype session. So anyway, this is an example of raw text. So there's the title, and then um, this little gizmo here says that this this section of the book is front matter, so that's mm -hmm. going to be styled differently than a chapter. So front matter doesn't end up in the table of contents as a number. I, I noticed your book was very different. Than, than anything you've ever seen on yeah, Kindle. Yeah, at first it took... At first, I had to focus. I thought, wait, wait, this is different because my brain was adjusting. Yeah, to I thought the formatting was really interesting. Different. I so that's an example of a skin. So I just wrote that skin, and I specifically did it so it would look completely different than any book anybody yeah, had ever very seen different. before. It look, I said it when I gave my Amazon review. I, I actually gave a warning. Awesome. I said, warning for the faint-hearted. This is a manual. Yeah. Oh, yeah, life there you manual. Go. It's a life manual. Yeah. That's exactly what I said. Yep. It's a life manual. Don't read it if you don't want to get impacted <laughs> or have anything change in your Maybe mind. effective if you don't get impacted. <laughs> anyway, I, <laughs> words are power. It is. Right? Right. Uh, this is really, uh, this, this is an important thing too when it you're is. writing. Go to Bob Stevens stuff, ingest all his content and learn how to write in a way that you are consciously able to affect the person that's listening, their yes. brain chemistry. Paint a picture. And if you if, if you if you require to upgrade your craft, because every word that comes out of your mouth is going to have a a multi-dimensional effect on the person that's listening or reading, and so that multi-dimensional effect is going to be um, uh, you know either expanding or contracting at a you know from a cellular physical level all up through their etheric bodies, and so you know if you're planning on writing and speaking for a living, you darn well better understand how your words are creating resonant effects in your audience. And that's the way, I recommend that's the way. Do what? Are you recording? Yeah, I'm, oh, okay. I'm, I am, I've got a scribe gene. Yamaya and I are always fighting over, she's like, no, don't record that. And I'm like, hey, you married me, You're, it's all over for you, girl. Everything is getting scribed. So, um, yeah, always carry a recorder with you and, and record that. Anyway. This is an example of um, uh, like the dedication. That's uh, that'll turn into a um, a title, and then this uh, asterisk asterisk here means that this text in between is bolded. Mm. I mean, it's really simple. And oh, and and check this out here. Um, let's see if I can search for this. So you'll notice in the back of my book, there's an index. I haven't gotten that far. This is <laughs> all I have to do to index a term. Triple semicolon or triple parentheses around it, and that automatically gets dumped into the wow. index. Mm -hmm. And so every time there's an occurrence of index part, index track party that I uh, triple uh, parentheses like that, it ends up in building into the index in the back of the book, just like you'd see a normal print book. And there's very few Kindle books that have an index. Mm -hmm. In fact, there's very few Kindle books that have a usable table of contents. Most of them are just like chapter heads. You could sell this program. Oh, I, that, very shortly, this whole tool is going to be a software for service. You're darn right. Yeah, please do. Oh, yeah. With a, big, a good manual. And then what you notice here, like here's... That's uh, the tricky part. The manual like the, users can understand. Yeah, the, and the manuals that basically already done because what I did was I stole the syntax of another current project. 
You're and actually, model. several I uh, am making use. Model. Model, yes. The model. There you go. <laughs> and so, basically, um, if, you, if you'd like to, you know, buy a copy of the software and just use it on your own, or, in fact, I'll, I'm, I may even just set up a tutorial about, you know, probably not. Trying to set it up on your own machine is a, it's a, unless you're a serious geek, it's really challenging. So, uh, pro probably Record that it. would be a waste of time. Um, Record it and just put it, sell DVDs on it. Yeah, I really hope it works on PCs too. Well, this is going to be a software as a service, so what you'll basically do is you'll upload your file to one of my servers. Ah. And what will happen is there's a, a way to do this um, in Linux is that you can you can have a piece of software basically camp on a directory structure, which could be thousands or hundreds of thousands of folders, each you know, associated with a person underneath and all the books they have underneath. And then when somebody copies a file there, when that file is completely copied, there's an event that gets generated that says, close, write. If it's just a close, that means nothing changed. But if there's a close, write, that means this whole file's been written and it's, uh, it's atomically correct, it's complete. And once I see that close write event, then I can automatically run the tool on that content, generate the book, and put the log in the directory. So then the person, and it can run so fast that by the time you upload a book and you go navigate to the directory where all the residual files are, it'll be done. It's insanely fast. My book now is almost 40,000 words, and I just changed the front end software. It was taking like 30 seconds to compile. Now by the time I hit return, bang, it's done. It's way fast. So. I'm guessing by the time you upload a book and then navigate and hit refresh on the HTML page that it will all be there. So anyway. But so if you look here, so the, the double equals, that's the next uh, heading indention level. And triple equals is the next indention, indention level. And so what this turns into is, let's, uh, this is the actual zip file for, um, that I upload to Kindle is what that um, what that uh, actual text turns into is this right here. Mm -hmm. So you notice the front matter in the index, there's no numbering. And then starting with the first chapter, there's one, there's 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.3.1. And so if somebody has a question, they can tell, they can say, um, you know, I've got a question about these meetup event descriptions in 24.9.2. I can immediately figure out at a fine granular, most Kindle books, they've got like, the whole table of contents is like the name of the chapters. It's like, what? you know, then you have to go search around. But if somebody asks you a question about a specific indention of the table of contents that's this fine granulated, it's just easier on you and them having a conversation. And you can also insert new stuff by putting point three, point four, point. Yeah, so I mean, if you look at the if you look at this um, uh, this uh, text here, you just keep like if you if you'd like to break this section here into uh, additional subsections, then all you do is you put you know four equals in there and break you know just write flesh out a section. So it also means that when you're publishing additions to books, you can write you know the whole outline of your book, the whole structure of your book. Okay, here's the book I'm going to write, and I'm going to write chapter maybe one, two, and three. And I'm going to publish that, and that's going to be for $2.99. But in your description, you say, but wait, very, you know, when I publish the next update to this, the next edition, it's going to be $3.99. The next time, it's going to be $4.99 or $5.99. So the price goes up. As I say, as in other words, I'm making this book available. If you'd like to support, if you'd like to be an early adopter of the book and help me fix typos and things like that, you'll get all the updates for free because it's eventually going to be $9.99. So that's another um, uh, tack you can take. Anyway, uh, here's a copy of the index, since some people said they hadn't got to the end of the book yet. Um, so all the way to the end of the book, it's just like a, a normal index. Now what I, what I am gonna do is, um, there is a facility in the tool I've got to do multi-leveled indexes where, um, uh, you know, if you look in a book, it'll have like, for example, like um, maybe under the word tribe, it'll have the word tribe and then the end in level tribe building and then uh, tribes in America, tribes in Africa, tribes in Asia, you know, so there's multiple levels in, in a real physical book. So eventually I'll roll that into this tool, but for right now, 
it's just got a single level of uh, indention. And also, I mean, uh, yeah, if you look through the, all this, uh, like this coloring, like with the the uh, violet coloring and the yellow, uh, this is sort of, this is sort of um, uh, a internal conversation with myself that I actually, I did this and then I went back and said, well, I did that, why did I do that? So blue in the I am teachings is, um, that's the frequency of will and authority and power. So communication. And yellow is the frequency of illumination. So if there's an idea that requires a bit of illumination or standing out, then there's yellow background. Mm -hmm. And violet is the, the uh, frequency of uh, transmutation or alchemy. And so if there's an a, a inline uh, area of text or a phrase or word, I'd like to, to bold to give a little bit more of a pointer that this is some, you know, this is some good time alchemy here. Focus on that. So if you have a particular um, color scheme you're working on, like Anne in your book, um, you know, I could, I, I might use like fire brick, something like a fire brick color, which is a crimson color for the title heads. Actually, so it's I already, sexy. I launched it. The oh, site. good. And so the actual metaphysical erotica is actually in fire brick red. Oh, good. With the background of it being silhouetted with a woman's body. Awesome. Let's look, let's look at let's oh, yeah, look at Anne's website. Let's look at it. Let's it. Look at it. I, I want to see it. I, it's really rough, y'all. I mean, I, okay. I know how you said you built this in one day. I built mine yeah. in a day because we were see, my, I've got several <laughs> rough websites. <laughs> go if you go to the home page. Oh, oh sweet. Go to the home because I that's the. You um, look taller. You look taller in this picture. Yes, and I'm white. And you know. <laughs> Okay, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a suggestion here. Please. One of the things that you could do, if you were so inclined, is you could go and have a photograph of yourself done like this. <laughs> you just see my face, I'm all, it's a little bit too personal. Well, the point, you can't see the, face. the point, though, is that if, so, if you're, if you're, if, when you're in looking for your partner mode, this is a, this is a, a very mm -hmm. off, you know, sort of a sideband topic, is when if you're if you're in the mode of looking for your partner, mm -hmm. you might choose to put you as the image until you're done with that part of your life. You found your partner and then you put this image back up, maybe because that creates a congruence. Because if somebody looks at that and says, "Dang, that's my girl. How do I find out where she is?" And then they find, "Whoa, that's the author. Oh my, I found my girl." Well. You know, I'm only going to, I really like the theme of black and white silhouettes. Oh, I like that too. And so I added the, I did the graphics in the header myself. Awesome. So, um, because a lot of the work in the book really deals with DNA. Yeah, and, and the chakras. Unfolding. Yeah, as my the first book is only on root chakra. It's mm. all about root chakra dysfunction. So you're going to do a series of seven for each chakra? Oh, oh, yeah. Are those the positions so of them too? Cool. Yeah, those, are, those, two, those are the chakras. Yeah. What's funny is that on mobile devices, the only thing that shows up is the hip. So my girlfriend, one of my best friends goes, is that a knee? And I'm yeah. like, me? What are you talking right. about? I'm going to go there. So that's an important You know, thing one of the things I would do with your website, now we're, we're kind of mm -hmm. taking a tangent, Sorry. but I think it would be really cool is to... <clears throat> Hire somebody from Fiverr, or may actually is that whole uh, set of chakras down there at the bottom? Is that one image? No, there's, image? there's seven individual. Well, that whole the header itself is one image, but that actual header is many layers. layers of yeah, it's different images. layers. So if you know how to do it, or <laughs> just have somebody on Fiverr do it, but to drag the chakras into their actual positions, mm -hmm. like the root chakra at the perineum. Yeah, and very close. So in other words, they're 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 in the right axes, but actually position them on top of their actual place in the body. Right. It's only the third they're chakra there. that's off. No, they're all off. Well, a little the bit. first chakra's off. Well, they're off in the sense that, I mean, if you had a whole person, they would be on, but you might like to move them back so it followed the contour of the body a little bit more. So it gave an, a, an, an idea of where the chakras sort of lay if you saw the whole person. I don't know exactly how to explain yeah. it, but give, give them a little bit of a contour to go with it. Yeah. Especially the root chakra, so that it gives more of a contour that matches the silhouette. Mm -hmm. But that, I think that's freaking awesome. Thank I you. do too. Yeah. It's not. It's you know. I've the the homepage has a. This awesome. What turns you on? That's cool. So another thing, uh, probably that's going to be important for you too is to um, in your domain listing, make sure that you flag that as private, so nobody can like know what your home address is oh, yes, and home phone definitely. number. 
and uh, make sure that there's no place on this side that is your real name. You know, because I mean, some people. And the like, photographs, don't they have? If you took a photograph, it would have a. I actually GPS bought these off one to okay, the RF. Yeah, you can, and, and that's a good point. Is when you're taking photographs, especially of yourself, and uh, what the, your house. the metadata that's inside the photographs. Just make sure that you strip the meta metadata, and you can learn, search online to see where to do that. Here it is on the mobile side. Yeah. That's why she yeah, was like, is that it's a It's not mobile name? responsive. Yeah. Oh, so, the, so the, um, what you probably are also served to do, Anne, on your site is um, to, you're using uh, WordPress, uh, well, let's see, I can tell here what you're using. Uh, you're using something called Orange, which is why that, that image is probably off. If you switch to using 2013 as your theme, and just style it however you'd like to make a child theme or whatever just to add in the styling of this orange theme, whatever that is, I don't know. Um, you'll probably, I don't know, Clint, have you messed with 2013? As I understand, no. 2013 attempts to scale images also for mobile platforms. It's a WordPress thing? It's the default theme that ships okay. WordPress. So if you download WordPress 3.1 or hit upgrade, okay. then you'll see 2013 in your theme set mm -hmm. and just flip it on and see what its effect is. But I think what that might do is allow the image to scale more onto for mobile platforms. And also make sure that, um, I, other than sure what the weight of this image is, you know, what the actual, um, you know, how big it is, make sure that you've crushed it though, so that you've run it through some kind of JPEG crusher so it's the smallest it can possibly be and still be the same high resolution. Okay. So if somebody looks at it on their phone or tablet, it pops up really quick. Or if they've got a slow internet connection. I did my graphics myself, so... Um, I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. It yeah. is awesome. Thank you. Was it responsive? Is that what it's called? It's called a responsive theme is one that uh, adapts to any type of viewport size all the way from iPhones and Androids up to HDTVs, to yeah. Computers. So. Thank you. You know, Ann, okay, so I'm, I'm just like going down the rabbit hole here because metaphysical erotica is one of the things that I've kind of tossed around in the back of my mind because I have a bunch of stuff written on that that I've done for 20 or 30 be a years. Could computer and have me look uh, like crazy to your Amazon site? Could be. Um, <laughs> um, Maybe this is another conversation. Yeah, there, um, yeah I'd probably um, just uh, make sure that that uh, image works well on all the different mobile platforms. Uh, so that if somebody comes to it with a like an iPhone or something or an Android phone that it does show up uh, well and make sure you check them on you you've got an iPhone right or yeah something? I have an Android Android yeah so um, wow, awesome I like it mm -hmm. sorry y'all didn't need to no no that's that's that's, that's cool you know it's funny it used to be uh, you know it was all taboo to talk about incest in erotica too but that was before the Game Borgias and Game of Thrones. Yeah. And even Dexter, yeah. there's like that thing going on between him and his sister. Yeah. So all, I mean, it's like this Game really Thrones, weird. Yeah. It's like, you know, five years ago, if you wrote any kind of erotica that had uh, any kind of conversation about that, it was completely taboo. And now people are like watching it and it's just like become somehow acceptable. I, I don't know. I don't think so. I, 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 anyway, I, yeah. I, it's acceptable I, to people watching it though, because Game of Thrones is the most yeah. pirated uh, footage on in the entire history of the internet right now. I can believe it. Set what? the ratings record. Game of Thrones. Really? Yeah. The latest anyway. episode just said another ratings Checky record. doesn't even know I Game of Thrones. I don't so watch TV. You can go to He's more of the Vikings man. Mm -hmm. Vikings, Vikings is awesome. Vikings, yeah. is. They just wrapped it up, right? I don't know. Don't All know. right, so anyway, this uh, just, to, just to wrap up this little short video here about um, uh, the point I was making about this, um, this markup for the content is... Um, you know, like here's a here's an example of a of a uh, header, and here's an example of a bulleted list, asterisk space, asterisk space, asterisk space. All that gets changed into uh, uh, unordered lists, and then this right here is the syntax to create an inline link. So this creates an inline x assets. So any place I reference x assets, like let's find a x assets. Um, oh, I guess that was the... So here's the actual where the link lives. It's a double square brackets on both sides. That builds the link for x-axis assets here. And then if I reference it someplace, 
This fills the link where this side is goes in the href. That's where the link is, and this is the text that shows up in the link. But this is far easier to do than trying to type out, you know, open angle bracket A space href equal double quote. And what was that yeah. tag name I used yeah. for that link? Close double quote. That's and then what, it's I don't know. Oh. I don't know. 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 Like in this piece of software, even if you'd like to build, like you'll notice in my book, there's several places where there are uh, tables. So here's the syntax for the tables. Jeez, you've been that all the way down. So, you know, it's basically, you don't, there's no, you don't have to figure out whether I have to open a table tag and I have to create a row tag and then a ta table data tag for each chunk of data. No, none of that stuff. And this is divided up so the left chunk is 10% of the screen and the right chunk is 90%. So this is, the, this is the kind of writing when you're going through. And also, I wrote all this stuff, and then I went back and even added this little bit of a formatting. I just write. When I write, I write. And then I go back and consider even this level of formatting. I go back and do that as an after, um, afterthought. <laughs>